National Weather Service in Portland has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Yamhoe County in northwestern Oregon, northwestern Marion County in northwestern Oregon, southeastern Washington County in northwestern Oregon until 12.45 p.m. At 12.11 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near McMinnville, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Hazard, 70 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects considerable tree damage. Damage is likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include McMinnville, Tigard, Coalitive, Newburgh, Forest Grove, Beaton, Yamhill, Sherwood, Cornelius, Lafayette, Dewey, King City, Carlton, Durham, Gaston, Street, Paul, Whiteson, Union Vale, Dilly, and Farmington. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Blinding torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may lead to local flooding. Slow down and do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Thunderstorm warning for Eastern Yamhoe County in northwestern Oregon, northwestern Marion County in northwestern Oregon, southeastern Washington County in northwestern Oregon until 12.45 p.m. At 12.11 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near McMinnville, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Hazard, 70 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects considerable tree damage. Damage is likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include McMinnville, Tigard, Coalitin, Newburgh, Forest Grove, Dayton, Yamhill, Sherwood, Cornelius, Lafayette, Dundee, King City, Carlton, Durham, Gaston, Street, Paul, Whiteson, Union Vale, Dilly, and Farmington. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Blinding torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may lead to local flooding. Slow down and do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Easing to 15 to 29. Southeastern Columbia County in northwestern Oregon, northwestern Multnomah County in northwestern Oregon, Central Clark County in southwestern Washington, Central Cowlitz County in southwestern Washington, until 1.30 p.m. At 1.02 p.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Kalama to near Ridgefield to Lake Shore, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Battleground, St. Helens, Woodland, Vancouver Downtown, Portland, Vancouver, Ridgefield, La Center, Kalama, Columbia City, Yakult, Walnut Grove, Mount Vista, Venersborg, Hazel Dell North, Lake Shore, Dollar Corner, Five Corners, Hawkinson and Salmon Creek. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with these storms and may lead to local flooding. Slow down and do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station KEC 91 broadcasting on 162.400 MHz from Nassau Ridge, Washington. Gusting to 26.
service in Portland has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Columbia County in northwestern Oregon, northwestern Multnomah County in northwestern Oregon, central Clark County in southwestern Washington, central Cowlitz County in southwestern Washington, until 1.30 p.m. At 1.02 p.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Kalama to near Ridgefield to Lake Shore, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Battleground, St. Helens, Woodland, Vancouver Downtown, Portland, Vancouver, Bridgefield, Los Center, Kalama, Columbia City, Yagold, Walnut Grove, Mount Vista, Vennersborg, Hazel Dale North, Lake Shore, Dollar Corner, Five Corners, Hawkinson and Salmon Creek. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with these storms and may lead to local flooding. Slow down and do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station KIG-98 broadcasting on 162.550 MHz near Portland, Oregon. 5.74 feet, Wilson River. Shoalwater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon from 10 to 60 nautical miles. The National Weather Service in Portland has issued a special marine warning for waters from Cape Shoalwater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon from 10 to 60 nautical miles until 7.45 p.m. At 7.09 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts was located 21 nautical miles south of Columbia River Buoy 29, moving north at 50 knots. Hazard, water spouts, wind gusts in excess of 50 knots, and small hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Boats could suffer significant structural damage in high winds. Small craft could capsize in suddenly higher waves. This if you a thunderstorm will remain over mainly open waters. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. Thunderstorms can produce sudden water spouts. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Seek safe harbor immediately. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station KEC 91 broadcasting on 162. Pressure Center is near... Shoalwater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon, out 10 nautical miles, and waters from Cape Shoalwater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon, from 10 to 60 nautical miles. The National Weather Service in Portland has issued a special marine warning for coastal waters from Cape Shoalwater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon, out 10 nautical miles, waters from Cape Shoalwater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon, from 10 to 60 nautical miles, until 8 p.m. At 7.40 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts was located 10 nautical miles west of Cape Disappointment, moving north at 55 knots. Hazard, water spouts, wind gusts in excess of 50 knots, and small hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Boats could suffer significant structural damage in high winds. Small craft could capsize in suddenly higher waves. This if you a thunderstorm will remain over mainly open waters. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. Thunderstorms can produce sudden water spouts. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. 
Seek safe harbor immediately. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station KEC 91 broadcasting on one hazard. Water, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon from 10 to 60 nautical miles. The National Weather Service in Portland has issued a special marine warning for waters from Cape Showwater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon from 10 to 60 nautical miles until 8.15 p.m. At 7.48 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts was located 18 nautical miles northwest of Columbia River Buoy 29, moving north at 50 knots. Hazard, water spouts, wind gusts in excess of 50 knots, and small hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Boats could suffer significant structural damage in high winds. Small craft could capsize in suddenly higher waves. The severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly open waters. Move to safe harbor immediately as gusty winds and high waves are expected. Thunderstorms can produce sudden water spouts. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Seek safe harbor immediately. The following marine statement is, for the following, coastal waters from Cape Shorewater, KEC 91 broadcasting... Cape Shorewater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon from 10 to 60 nautical miles. The National Weather Service in Portland has issued a special marine warning for waters from Cape Shorewater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon from 10 to 60 nautical miles until 8.30 p.m. At 8.14 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts was located 14 nautical miles south of Columbia River Buoy 29, moving north at 50 knots. Hazard, water spouts, wind gusts in excess of 50 knots, and small hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Boats could suffer significant structural damage in high winds. Small craft could capsize in suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include the usual location of buoy 29, Move to safe harbor immediately as gusty winds and high waves are expected. Thunderstorms can produce sudden water spouts. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Seek safe harbor immediately. Frequent lightning is occurring with this storm. If caught on the open water, stay below deck if possible. Keep away from ungrounded metal objects. The following marine statement is, for the following, waters from Cape Shorewater, Washington to Cascade Head, scattered power out. The following marine statement is, for the following, Coastal waters from Cape Shorewater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon, out 10 nautical miles, and waters from Cape Shorewater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon, from 10 to 60 nautical miles. The National Weather Service in Portland has issued a special marine warning for coastal waters from Cape Shorewater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon, out 10 nautical miles, waters from Cape Shorewater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon, from 10 to 60 nautical miles, until 9 p.m. At 8.30 p.m., 
depths of your thunderstorms capable of producing water spouts were located about 20 nautical miles offshore of an area between Cape Showwater, Law and Gerhardt, Oregon, moving north at about 50 knots. Hazard, water spouts, wind gusts in excess of 50 knots, and small hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Boats could suffer significant structural damage in high winds. Small craft could capsize in suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include the usual location of buoy 29. Move to safe harbor immediately as gusty winds and high waves are expected. Thunderstorms can produce sudden water spouts. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Seek safe harbor immediately. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station KEC 91 broadcasting on 162 point and small hail. Shoalwater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon from 10 to 60 nautical miles. The National Weather Service in Portland has issued a special marine warning for waters from Cape Shoalwater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon from 10 to 60 nautical miles until 9.15 p.m. At 8.46 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts was located 45 nautical miles west of Oceanside, Washington, moving north at 50 knots. Hazard, water spouts, wind gusts in excess of 50 knots, and small hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Boats could suffer significant structural damage in high winds. Small craft could capsize in suddenly higher waves. The severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly open waters. Move to safe harbor immediately as gusty winds and high waves are expected. Thunderstorms can produce sudden water spouts. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Seek safe harbor immediately. The following marine statement is, for the following, coastal waters from Cape Shoalwater, Washington. Impacts, major flooding. Shoalwater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon, out 10 nautical miles, and waters from Cape Shoalwater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon, from 10 to 60 nautical miles. The National Weather Service in Portland has issued a special marine warning for coastal waters from Cape Shoalwater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon, out 10 nautical miles, waters from Cape Shoalwater, Washington to Cascade Head, Oregon, from 10 to 60 nautical miles, until 9.45 p.m. At 9.13 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts was located 7 nautical miles east of Columbia River Buoy 29, moving north at 50 knots. Hazard, water spouts, wind gusts in excess of 50 knots, and small hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Boats could suffer significant structural damage in high winds. Small craft could capsize in suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include the waters just offshore of the Columbia River Bar and just offshore of the Long Beach Peninsula. Move to safe harbor immediately as gusty winds and high waves are expected. Thunderstorms can produce sudden water spouts. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Seek safe harbor immediately.
This is NOAA Weather Radio Station KEC 91 broadcasting on 162.400 megahertz from Nassau Ridge, Washington.